What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today. Got my buddy Scott with me and we are back on the pond that we fished probably a couple weeks ago. But I'm going to be honest, today's conditions are a lot nicer. It's 80 degrees right now. It's not 96, 97 degrees like it was last time we were here. And it is cloudy and we got a little bit of wind as well. So we have a lot better conditions there are some big fish in here but there are also a lot of you know smaller fish you got to kind of weed through them but today what we're doing we're fishing a 1v1 big fish tournament against each other and we have 20 dollars on the line to the winner so what we're going to do our biggest fish we're going to weigh them on the bubble scale and we're going to see who can catch the biggest fish of the day so one cool thing about it is i have live scope on my boat so we have fished this pond for years and years and years, and we have never really known what is out here in the middle. So we're gonna find out today with that. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get to fishing. Let's see if we can catch a couple big ones and let's see who the winner is gonna be. All right, y'all. So we are gonna get started and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break out that good old mock schooler right there, that bad boy on the eighth ounce Ned head. And I got that on a 6.9 Mach Crush. Got a 15 pound leader on there with 20 pound test P line braid. And man, there's a lot of fish out here, Scott. Scott's hooked up already. Scott is hooked up already. Didn't even hardly get through the intro or talking. Do you want to put him on the scale? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going I'm to get the bubble scale out. I don't know. What do you think? You want to do Let's just use the measuring board. Cause that, that ain't, that ain't right. Would it wait? <laughs> I mean, I would hope that we would need at least a two pounder, but I mean, who knows, right? I mean, it, it, you know, who knows? That might've won it right now. <laughs> that might've won it. So he's throwing, you're throwing the Ned? Yeah. He's throwing the Ned. I got the schooler on here and, and I'm not even like looking at live scope. I got it on, but I'm not looking at it. I'm just firing over here but i'm kind of letting it sink down and swimming it along the breeze is blowing so it's going to make it kind of hard to target fish with live scope anyway oh my goodness scott has got another one on the net this might be a little bit better fish it is my <laughs> my bait is wait a minute yo yours came off i was like what is going on here that was probably one worth weighing and he popped off on you it jumped off and wrapped around my, right around my line. They're on that doggone Ned. They're on that Ned. I ain't gonna let him whoop my butt with it, but oh, I didn't ca I cast over you, that's all right. You're good, you're good. I, I think you cast you it right in a, grass yeah, I'll say you threw right in that grass mat. But yeah, I will, I will put on the, oh my goodness, they are on that Ned like crazy, y'all. And he's hooked up again. What is going on? What is going on right now? He is whooping my butt. I'm gonna have to take a take a mock stick and cut it off and use it as a as a ned. See some fish right here in front of me. See if I can get one of them bad boys to bite. They're all around the base of it. But like I just cast it. There's my bait. Look, look at him. Look, look at him. Just came up off that log. God, that's a big one coming after it. Oh, dude, that's like a four or five pounder. Look at him right there. Got him. Got him. Dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not quite as big as I thought, but a dang nice one. Oh. Dude, I don't know if I should swing him on this swing, little net head. Swing it. Oh, dude, what a chunk, bro. Rap. What a chunk. Rap. <laughs> I knew that was a nice one when I saw him coming up. Y'all check that one out right there. That is like, dude, look how fat. fat he is. Got him on that mock schooler right there. I saw him coming up off that log. It was, look, there's several more like him on it. So... Man, that's awesome. That's a pretty one. I'm gonna weigh him, see what we got here. 
That's bigger than uh, any one we caught last time we were here. Oh, Scott's hooked up. Scott's hooked up. That's a nice one, too. Ain't no need to weigh this one. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. So I'm going to, I'm setting the bar now with a 211. Dang, I thought he was bigger than that. I thought he was a little bit bigger than that, too, but 211 is what he is and that's a darn pretty one on that mock schooler this is that i think it's carolina chrome is what color that is but man what a beauty thank you thank you girl there she goes oh that was fun all right y'all let's see if we can get another one as a matter of fact that stop sticking up is where i caught the last the bigger fish last time we were here as well that was on the mock mega worm but man that was a nice that's the first fish that i've actually had come up and and commit to the schooler but it was a nice one i'll take it all right so y'all could probably tell from the beginning of the video that i had some really really cool drone footage and i wanted to tell you all about it because i've got a new drone now i haven't had a drone in the past because let's face it drones are pretty expensive and i really didn't think that you could get a nice drone for a really good price but let me tell you i was wrong this rucco this f11 gim2 is the drone that i've been using and rucco reached out to me a couple of months ago wanted to send me out a drone to try out and let me tell you i am super super happy with it and i've got some really cool footage as a matter of fact you're going to see a bunch of really cool footage and fish catches as we get further into this video but i just want to tell you a little bit about the drone i'm just going to go over some of its, some of its features really quick and then i'm just going to talk about the ease of use now before i got this drone i had never used a drone before in my life so i was a little bit uh just kind of hesitant and i was a little timid when i saw this thing because it's a really nice drone you know as you pull it out the package it comes in a really nice case and i opened it up pulled it out and i was like man this thing is pretty nice and i've never used a drone before so i don't know if i'm going to be able to fly it but let me tell you it was so so easy to use so easy to learn it's a lot of good informational videos online on how to use this particular drone as well i looked at those i read through the instruction manual and i got it up in the air in no time and now i feel like i'm a pretty good drone user so the way you use it you just open it up right here so you pull it in there boom you got your drone you have a really good 4k camera on the front here i'm going to take the cover off really quick but this is a gimbal mount camera on the front and this is a super super nice camera and you can control the angle of the camera with your remote so also there's an sd card slot right here where you can put your SD card and you can, it holds up to 128 gigabyte SD card. So tons of memory, tons of storage you can put on this. And also it actually saves the video and photo to your phone as well. So you download the Roku app. Rucco, I believe is what it is. You can say it any way you want, but the Rucco drone app, I'm going to hit that real quick. And you open that up and the way you use it is you have your controller right here and when you cut your controller on and you cut your drone on it will link together so it links together i run it in gps mode and then right here the top raises up and you put your phone up in the top right here and then you have your cable your cable comes out right here and that hooks into your USB port of your phone. So once you get everything connected, you can get this thing up in the air. So I'm gonna get everything up and connected real quick. And I'm gonna show you all just how easy it is to take off with this drone and get awesome video and awesome pictures using it. Now this is one of the best selling drones on Amazon. And like I said, it has a great price point and that's one of the reasons for the quality. You always want to get your best bang for the buck. So this definitely fits the bill. So let's get this thing up in the air. I'm going to show you all how to do it real quick. 
then we're going to get back to fishing all right so i don't know if y'all can see you probably can't see my screen but you can see the way i have my phone set up on top like i said the cable goes right here on the end and the way that i get the drone going i take i push down both at an angle boom as you can see the drone is ready to go and we're going to take flight it is so simple to use right there we got it we're coming back down we're going to turn it right here and like i said this thing is super cool you can get such good footage using this drone and I've been using it a lot for my fishing videos. So like I said, you're gonna be seeing this drone a lot more, or drone footage a lot more on my videos, on the channel. And like I said, I absolutely love it. So be sure to check it out. Link in the description below. I'm gonna put her down on the ground and get it to land. But like I said, it's super, super easy to use. It's not hard at all. If you've been wanting a drone, be sure to grab one. Like I said, it's linked down below. And I appreciate Rucko for sending me this drone. And uh, like I said, you're going to be seeing a lot more cool aerial footage on my videos because I got this now. So let's get back to fishing. All right, we're going to work over to this riprap and fish down it. The wind is blowing right into it. So we're going to fish uh, fish that riprap, but also something else too. The pond is like four, wait, what about four foot higher than it was when we were here a couple weeks ago. So all that rain we've gotten has really brought this pond up as well so that could have a little bit of an effect on on the on the fish as far as the bite goes but i will say right now it seems like it's a little bit slower than it was when we were here a couple weeks ago just right off the bat but i'm expected for one of us to crack into one right here in a second Dude, I mean, this wind should have them gnawing, dude. Like, look, I mean, look at all of them. Oh, I just got bit. There he is. Oh, dude. What do we got here? Oh, dude. Another solid one. I mean, on the shaky head. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Scott, <laughs> I got nothing, dude. I'm gonna get me one. I'm gonna get me one. Y'all check that one out right there. I don't think he's bigger than that first one. I don't think. He don't have the gut. Yeah, he don't. He don't have the gut. But look under the boat, Scott. Look at Ugh. all the fish under the boat. So this fish, right here, there's a drop, and we were looking at it, and right where it drops off, there's a lot of fish right along this edge. So we're just casting along it, and this fish bit that, that shaky head. So we're going to see what this one goes. When I stuck him, I immediately knew it was a nicer fish. 2.7. Uh, 2.7, two seven. Two seven. so he's not bigger than that. 2.11, but a nice fish, nonetheless. Thank you, bud. Man, that water's so clear, it's crazy. Got him just on that. This is a plum. Plum worm, straight tail worm, that quarter ounce head. Nice. Oh, dude, biggin'. Scott, there he is, let me get the net. Scott might be, oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna come right here. He's on that Ned, you gotta get him. You gotta get him. Okay, I get him. He's gonna spit it. You ready? Hang on, bring, bring him right here, bring him right here. I can't, I, I can't see him, I can't see him. You ready? Yep. Dude, that's a pretty one right there. That's a three something. I can tell you Scott is taking the lead. Let me get it right here where y'all can see him. Yes, sir. I mean, he engulfed that thing, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my rod's about to go. Get it. Oh, God. 
<laughs> my rod was about to go out. All right, let's weigh Scott's fish. He is 100% taking the lead with that fish. That's a pretty one, bro. We're not catching as many fish, but dang it, we are catching some pretty ones today. Scott's definitely taking the lead with this one. What we got here? Three, three. Three, seven. Three, seven, bro. Let's lock him in. You might as well do best five. Three, doing, seven. Are you doing best five? I, I've, done, I've done locked out the other ones. But look, three, seven. Two, 11. Two, 11 and two, eight. Or is it two, seven? I can't it was remember. two, seven or two, eight. We'll add it up. Hold him there, bro. That's a pretty one. Yes, sir. There we go. Hey. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Not every day do you come to this pond and catch solid fish like we're catching. <laughs> nice, man. This is, this is, hey, this is fun. As soon as you set the hook in him, I heard that drag rip. I was like, yep. There we go. Look, he was sitting on it. He was right on it. Never, never. Do, 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 do. Yeah, just, just, sitting, just on sitting on it. Nice. Heck yeah. Now this is fun. All right, y'all, so we're going to work up this left side up towards the shallow end. I have picked up the popper, so I'm going to be throwing the popper up along this left side, and Scott has picked up the spinnerbait. So we're going to go right here along this drop-off and see if we can catch a big one. Top water, of course, is a good way to catch a big fish, so I'm going to throw top water. And, I mean, a spinnerbait, that's hard to beat when it comes comes to big fish as well so we're gonna see if we can kind of make something happen on a on a moving bite i mean it is really perfect conditions for it but i know last time we were here we could not get anything to fire on uh moving bait so maybe today will be a little bit different Nice one. That's a good one. <laughs> Dude, if that one on time, that is awesome. That is awesome. Get in here, baby. All right. That is cool. That is cool. Well, darn, that worked out quick. Oh, <laughs> nice. There we go, y'all. Heck yeah. That is awesome. Dude, that worked out. All right, so look, it is 747. We're going to work our way back down in this shallow section, and we're going to get back down into that deep stuff so we can fish that pretty much up until it gets close to dark. So we're gonna work our way kind of quick through this flat down into the, the deeper end. And I'm behind right now. Scott's sitting on a 3.7. I mean, I gotta get it done. So I believe there's only one place to do it and that's gonna be down there. So got some cool drone footage for you all. I mean, oh, big and dude, big and. Dude, giant. Oh my god. I got the net. Get the net. I got it. I got it. Dude, is this. Oh, he's, I got him sideways. I got him sideways. It's still a nice fish, but I got him sideways. I was like, dude, that is a big one. He had that old, he had that old Mach 2 bowed up. Dang, I thought that was him. I thought that was him. Scott saw that rod bow and he was like, whoa, that, that's, that's old big boy. But uh, we're going to need our pliers to get this, get this out. But yeah, we got to, we got to try to get a, a, a big one. We need a big one. Oh, look, hey, weigh that one. That one's a, weigh that one. Weigh it, weigh it. Oh, you want to see about want, the best, I want, uh, I want best, five. best five? He's a pound something. We'll, we forgot about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll weigh him just We're, to. We need one more anyway. To yeah. 
he's only a pound three. That's fine. I mean, whatever. Yeah. It is. Yeah, he's only a pound three. There we go. Thank you, buddy. On that popper. Y'all can see that grass. Look at all that grass that, that I pulled up. The line is line is wrapped, but just a ton of grass down there. And I mean this this pond is so clean. It just has that green color to it. Just beautiful. So there we go. One for the popper. Oh man, I thought that was him. I was like, dude, that might be a game changer. I'm gonna tell you that water cooling off allowed that light to happen. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the water now has dropped down to 82. It's actually 83 on this end, but it's 82 on that end. It's cooled down about three degrees actually before we worked up on this end. So definitely makes a difference. Uh-oh, Scott done hooked up on another one on the spinnerbait. They're biting that thing. I mean, that's a small one, but they are biting. They're biting that spinnerbait a little bit, a little bit better than they're biting this popper right now, it seems. I'm just hoping that this popper will get a big one to come up. Oh, oh. goodness. That was a pretty good bite. Didn't hook up on him though. All right, y'all, I'm going to fire the last cast, but I'm going to tell you what, unless I catch a big one, Scott got me. You know, I caught a 211, I caught a 27, and I was feeling good about it, and then Scott caught a doggone 37 on that Ned. I mean, beautiful fish. We didn't catch a ton, but, I mean, hey, man. Didn't catch a ton. Yeah, we didn't do bad, though. It was fun. I mean, to come out here on this beautiful pond, super, super clear water. And it was a good time. But after I get this thing loaded, bud, you're gonna get 20 bucks. You got me, but that was fun. But anyway, like I said, beautiful afternoon. It wasn't too hot. And hey, we caught some fish, so that's what matters. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.